The Twilight Forest mod. One of the most famous Minecraft mods to ever exist. A mod I wish that existed as a DLC in Minecraft Dungeons. It would single-handedly save Minecraft Dungeons, in my opinion. But anyway, the Naga is one of my favorite mobs. When you see it, it's not just one mob. It's a train of mobs following each other, forming a chain, a mechanic I vowed to replicate in Bedrock. In my case, the chain mob mechanic needs to have four key features. One, when spawning the mob, it needs to spawn the rest of the chain. Two, the mob behind must follow the mob in front, forming a chain. Three, when removing a link from the chain, the whole chain must die. Four, when spawning too many, they mustn't merge, even after exiting and entering the world. Feature number one's easy on paper. One might think that we can spawn the mob with a spawn entity component similar to how chickens lay eggs or how wandering traders spawn with trader llamas to spawn the rest of the chain. We could also use commands to summon the rest of the chain in the spawn event. But all of these methods pose a problem to the rest of the features, and I'll get to that after explaining the rest. Feature number two is easier said than done. We can use vanilla behaviors like the llama's caravan behavior, making it easy for mobs to follow each other, but it only works when a llama is leashed by the player. This isn't even the deal breaker because caravans can break, disrupting the chain. So the caravan behavior is a no-go. I did try my hand at an eccentric, erratic, outlandish, peculiar, quaint, singular, strange, and unique way of making a mob follow another mob. Imagine zombies that attack each other, but they're immune to their own damage. That's the concept behind this experiment. It's still not perfect, and runs into the same pitfalls as the caravan behavior. The chain can break when it comes to falls, and the chain lags behind too, and it feels like daggers to the head. Feature number three is the easiest. When a link's too far, or gets killed, you can easily run a command that tells its chain to die. Feature number four is what I dreaded for it to work. Every chain needs a unique ID. I can brute force this using spaghetti code, but deep down I knew it was wrong. I'm not going to casually throw away years of good practice and application with a cheap trick I know that would work. I needed to use scripting. For features number two, three, and four to work, it all starts with feature number one. Here's the pseudocode. Spawning the entity will spawn the rest of the chain with a unique ID so it wouldn't merge with other chains. Each member of the chain will have an index, the head being zero, with each link checking if it's near enough to another link to teleport towards, and kills the entire chain if not. Modularizing the process using scripting wasn't part of the plan, but it sure helped a lot keeping the code simple and readable. With the concept of chain entities complete, I can copy and paste it to any other add-ons that may need it. A humongous snake tearing down a city? Centipedes the size of credit card debts? A familiar face, perhaps? It's now possible on Bedrock. I'll make a download for this concept after I finish updating my website.